in the news. Federal government to enlist hunters in National Safe School Initiative. Kwara government acquires 20,065 hectares of land for smart city project. Chad's interim president Idris Deba began elections campaign to restore the country to democratic civilian rule. In sport, Bayern Leverkusen crowned champions of Bundesliga for the first time in 120 year history. And this is the MLC TV Global News, reaching you live from the city of Lokoja, the Confluent State of Nigeria. I am Abiodun Sadiq. The National Coordinator of Financing Safe School Initiative, Alima Ilia, says plans are underway to actively engage hunters and vigilantes in intelligence gathering to curb attacks on schools across the country. Ilia gave this indication in an interview with newsmen in Abuja. She said aggressive community engagement and sensitization of students, parents and teachers would kick off in the second quarter of the year. Ilia said we will bring them to the security architecture for them to defend and protect their communities in the areas of intelligence gathering, prevention and detection deterrent capacity. She added that our agency would work with the National Orientation Agency to reach out to the grassroots. The National Safe School Response Coordination Center Commander, Hamed Abodurin, said that the center had engaged in continuous sensitization of schools on the risk and dangers associated with not being security conscious. The Association of Small Business Owners of Nigeria has honored the Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, with the award of SME Friendly Governor of the Year. ASBON National President Femi Egbeshola announced this at the 2024 edition of the Nigerian National SME Business Awards, which was held in Lagos at the weekend. He noted that the Governor had made groundbreaking initiative that resulted in a notable surge of entrepreneurs within the small and medium-sized enterprise ecosystem. In response, Governor Somolu said only loans with single-digit interest rates could help to unlock the growth of small businesses, saying micro, small and medium enterprise could create the most jobs and should therefore be supported with low-interest funds to enable them to do more. Following stakeholders' engagement meeting on land acquisition, the Quara State Government has acquired land in both Illorin East and Illorin South, Luke Government areas of Quara State, for the purpose of citing the new Illorin Smart City Estate in the best interest of Quarans and the entire nation. The Executive Chairman Quara State Geographic Information Service, Abdul Karim Babatinde Sleiman, stated this when he paid a courtesy visit to the Emir of Illorin, Dr. Ibrahim Zulu Gambari in his palace in Illorin, the state capital. According to him, the smart city will accommodate modern schools, hospitals, market, police stations, fire services, stadia, and other social amenities. He added that the smart city estate would also house 1,000 federal renewed hope housing estate, as well as accommodating the phase two industrial park and a host of other infrastructure. Suleiman also affirmed that when fully activated, the project would provide employment opportunities for the team in years. And on politics, officials of the Edo State Network and members of the Public Work Volunteers pulled down the security post in front of the residence of the former Deputy Governor, Philip Schwab, in the government reservation area, Bini. Shuaib was impeached by the Edo State House of Assembly last Monday over the allegation of linking official secret and perjury. This followed the consideration of the report of a seven-man panel set up by the Chief Judge of the State, Justice Daniel Okungboa. The Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, had also replaced the impeachment Deputy Governor with marvelous Omobayo. Shuaib had since condemned his impeachment and had approached the courts to quash the action, stating that he was only being persecuted for exercising his fundamental human rights by wanting to succeed his boss. 
Leke Abejide has urged the people of Kogi State to give their support to the administration of Governor Usman Ododo in the tax of building a secure and prosperous Kogi State. According to Abejide, member House of Representative Yagba, federal constituency, who attended a wedding program in local Jada, enjoy the people to support the government to progress. Leke told the guests at the event that there is time for politics and time for governance. Therefore, politics is over and it is time for governance. He thanked the dignitaries and every individual who came to join in the celebration and prayed for journey messages for the guests to their various destinations. The power dynamics within the People's Democratic Party PDP have reportedly reached a boiling point as the rivalry between former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and FCT Minister Yusam Wike intensifies ahead of the party's 98th National Executive Committee NEC meeting. At the heart of the matter is whether Umar Damagon, the acting national chairman of the party, should retain his position or be replaced. Calls to remove Damagon and appoint a substantive chairperson have been growing, with 60 members of the House of Representatives demanding his exit and the selection of a chairman from the North Central region. Former Benue Governor Gebre Suzwam and Dr. Emmanuel Agbo are also vying for the position of PDP National Chairman, with Suzwam receiving backing from Atiku's camp. We go on a short break. Now we will be right back. Malachi TV Online is here for your timely and reliable news that reaches you fast with the breaking news. Choose MLC TV. Get human interest stories right here on MLC TV with entertainment, sports, business, culture, tourism, and fashion news stories all featured on MLC TV. Not forgetting political and current affairs news, state and federal government and people's matters will be discussed regularly on MLC TV. MLC TV, your one-stop online destination for unbiased, accurate news, entrepreneur ideas, and youth matters to the rest of the world. MLC TV, written everywhere, informing everyone. Welcome back. On crime, operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency have intercepted a commercial bus transporting 3.2 million Naira counterfeit cash owned by three suspects, including eight-month pregnant favor Peter, Esther Adwoku, and Uchogbo Michael who were arrested at Jabi Park in Abuja. This was made known in a statement signed by the agency director of media and advocacy Femi Baba Femi and shared on the agency website. On the foreign scene, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has warned members not to further escalate tension with reprisal against Iran, saying that the Middle East is already on the break. Speaking out, the Security Council, it said the people of the region are confronting a real danger of devastating full-scale conflict. Now is the time to defuse and escalate. Neither the region nor the world can afford more wars. At the same meeting, Israel UN envoy urged the Security Council to impose all possible sanctions against Iran after the nation's unprecedented attacks. More than 300 drones and missiles were fired at Israel overnight, which Iran said was in response to April 1st strike on its consulate in Syria. Almost all were shot down before reaching their target. Israel Ambassador Gulian Aden said at the heated meeting, said that the council must take action and condemn Iran for their terror. Chad's interim president, Mahamat Idris Deba on Sunday began his campaign for presidential elections meant to restore the country to democratic civilian rule. He is said to face nine other candidates in the poll scheduled for 6 May, including the junta appointed Prime Minister Success Massa. He pledged to strengthen security and guarantee Chad's peace and stability. Deba is widely expected to win the election 
which some opposition politicians have branded a fierce. On sport, Bayern Leverkusen crushed Wendel Bremen 5 0 to win the Bundesliga for the first time in their 120 year history, breaking Bayern Munich 11 year stronghold on the German title. However, Xabi Alonso Leverkusen were controlled and dominated despite the occasion. A hat trick from Florian alongside goals from Victor and Granit, extending their unbeaten run to a stunning 43 games in all competitions. Arsenal revealed in a scene of high anticipation when they walked out to face Aston Villa but were left looking at a sea of empty red seats 90 minutes later as the Premier League title race took a potentially pivotal twist. Late goals from Leon Bailey and Oli Watkin and a 2 new win at the Emirates to the visitors. Liverpool stumbled first in a shock home defeat by Crystal Palace before Arsenal supporters. Well, at least those of them left the Pat Emirates Stadium as turned as their unfeed counterparts after Mikel Arteta's side slumped. Liverpool's shock one new home loss to Crystal Palace earlier on Sunday leaves Manchester City two points clear at the top of the table with six games remaining, who on Saturday defeated Luton five goals to one. And that is the size of our news package. If you like what we are doing, do support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Malakai TV. Like and follow our Facebook pages, MLC TV, MLC TV2, MLC TV Yoruba, and Ibira Vabe, MLC TV. Instagram, MLC TV2021, X and Malakai TV, and TikTok, Malakai underscore TV. For your event coverage, appearance on any of our programs, contributions, comment, and advert placement, or sponsorship, please call or send SMS to any of our numbers displayed on your screen. Join Malakai TV online on weekends to watch our various programs. Saturday 7 p.m. Political Arena, Sunday 6 p.m. Women's World, and Monday 9 a.m. The Opinion. It's Malakai TV, reaching everywhere, informing everyone. Please be your brother's keepers to build a happier and better society together. I am Abiodun Sadiq. Do have a wonderful day.